everybody this is Lori from Purple Mind Studios and I just wanted to show you uh, the update on the yield landscape brush set I have added uh, 18 new brushes and all of the almost all of the original brushes have been modified and improved in my opinion <laughs> um, if you like the original version that you've already purchased um, keep it until you check these out. Maybe you'll want to keep both versions. Uh, the originals will not be available anymore. So if you like those, you might want to keep them until you check and see if you prefer these, uh, if you want to replace them or keep both sets. So I'm just going to go through um, the yield drawing brushes the same. There's a yield textured stem now. It is pressure sensitive. And, you know, you can use it to even make you know some hand-drawn leaves if you want them to have that texture like rose leaves typically have <clears throat> there's the new one is yield debris and these have some color dynamics in them yield ground cover i like this one And then there's some sparse ground cover, if you don't want it quite so thick and dense. The old rose petals, which I think is kind of neat. The old scattered roses. This one has some texture to it and they're, they kind of look like x-rays of roses. Um, but I thought they were kind of neat and um, we can do that in a red and see what those color dynamics look like. The old yard waste. Uh, let's do a brown. The old acorns and dry leaves. There's a sparse and dense version of this. It's the old sparse winter leaves. And I like this in a blue for some reason. And then the old dense winter leaves. It's the same brush, just a little thicker. The old impressionist foliage. All these are pressure sensitive. The old painterly foliage. This one has a good bit of texture in it. So hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> the old, I can't even read my own writing. The old leafy branches. <laughs> These are just kind of smooth, varying in size. The old translucent foliage. And you can go over these to thicken them up or, you know, you can leave them really light. Maybe in a background or something where you don't want them to be, or in the foreground even. Um, these are some of the original brushes, but they have been modified. So there's sparse abstract foliage and dense abstract foliage. And I've used these in a couple projects. I really like those brushes. The old painterly flora. That's my dog's collar jingling there. I like that look too. And painterly flowers. Let's change to a nice purple. Y'all know I love purple. So these have all been improved. There's uh, yield fantasy flowers. And the reason I call these fantasy flowers 
is because I actually combined two flowers. For the center of the flower, I used another flower instead of the regular center. So you only see those in your fantasies. There's impressionistic flowers. The old flowers in the wind. Kind of like that one. The old rose garden. This is another new one. Of course, I always like to do these in red. So oh, that's kind of neat. Spring greenery. Well, that's not green, but you get the idea. <laughs> there. A little better. You can go over it and, you know, make it more dense, darker. You know, textured foliage. So, hopefully, you can see that there's some texture in these leaves. The old sawtooth leaves. The old oak leaves. Some texture in those too. The old daisies. This is an original one that hasn't really been changed. <clears throat> These uh, have not been changed. The fog brush. I did some adjustments on the rest of these. Let's see, we'll go with the brown. There's sparse tree bark. And dense tree bark. And just minor adjustments on the bush brushes. The old bush bush and the old bush bush. <laughs> just a little more controlled on the shape on this one. The old evergreens. Love these tree brushes. And the old pine trees. I did some work on the color dynamics and a couple other little settings on these, so you should notice a little bit of a difference. The old saplings. The old foresty. The old Christmas trees. And I modified these so they look a little bit more natural, I think. The old pasture. Oops. The old barnyard. Let's go up a little bit so you can see better. The old weeds. So these are in the original set, but these have been modified, improved, in my opinion. But you can see for yourself what you think. And I'd love to hear from you and tell me what you think. You can email me anytime at purplemindstudios at gmail.com. And here's a new one, the old Per Pretty Weeds. There's the old wildflowers, which is original, but has been modified. And the last one is also an original that was updated. The old dandelions. So I really hope that you will enjoy the set and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.